Oh God, is what is going of, on here? Oh, they're posting gay stuff. Don't look at it. Oh, Ralph's here. Okay. Uh, Ralph, you there? Yo, what's up, man? How's it going? Pretty good. It's been a while. How are you? How are you? <laughs> I'm doing great, actually. Just got back from D.C. I've had a, a lot happen since the last time we talked. It wasn't that long ago, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it feels... I say this all the time when it comes to you. It's like, man, I really... A lot's really happened in a week or two weeks or whatever. I took it to um, the time, yeah. How's your eye? Uh, it's doing a lot better, pretty much all the way healed. But, you know, when you get beat that badly, it's a little, you know, it's like a little, um, I don't know what you call it, residual swelling maybe is what you'd call it. So I'm still waiting for that I final. Think, I think both of us are experiencing some residual <laughs> swelling. <laughs> well, because my foot, Sean, I'm including my foot in the Ralph thought injury. You're, thought you were getting turned on for some weird reason. I am getting turned yeah. <laughs> Something about Something about talking to Ralph again. Um, <laughs> Well, I'm I'm sorry I wasn't there. I haven't got a chance to talk to you since the the Portugal beat down. I really feel bad that I wasn't there. I've been yeah. I've been training for that my whole life. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Foreign country throwdown. Yeah, I've been uh, thinking you know, about taking. You know, I've been thinking about fighting in my mind, mentally preparing. Right, right. I would do nothing but leg sweeps. Yeah. That's always been my plan because people don't expect a leg no. sweep. No. Like always in Mortal Kombat, I'm people, only doing leg sweeps only. People don't expect body punches. <laughs> yes, but I'm only doing leg sweeps, Sean. Yeah. I only twerk leg sweep, leg sweep, and I say it over and over to confuse them. They're like, what? Get away. This guy's nuts. This Get away from him. Crazy. You know what? Um, it was obviously not the coolest thing to happen uh, to be beat. I was, ble you know, I'm bleeding badly on the streets and shit. Uh. Um Honestly, you know, I love Lisbon, though. The whole trip itself was great. Yeah. Uh, I guess I kind of got the whole experience, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so you really became yeah. part, part of you the country. You experienced the diversity yeah. part, yeah. the beautiful museums. I got, I got, right, I had all the cool stuff, and then I also got my ass beat. I also got to stay in the hospital for like four or five days, which was <laughs> honestly, like, I'm still going to write about it because it was such a wild experience. Not too many people there. There are some who speak English, yeah. Uh, yeah. but a lot of them don't, uh, and you're just kind of... They call me the Americano, actually, pretty much. Is how <laughs> right. <laughs> You're the only one. Were they Literally. talking shit? Could you tell if they were talking shit about... I went, back, I went back to get my stitches out that next Wednesday before <sighs> I left on Friday, and uh, the guy came in, and I had to go get a ticket and wait and then go to like the second level of service before I finally got to the third level, which is where they took it out. When I got to the second level, he's like, oh, you're that guy from the other night, aren't you? And I, like, yeah. and I said, yeah, I guess so. He said, he said, yeah, well, you were yelling and making it absolutely hell on us. And, blah, blah, blah. and I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And then, and then he kept ranting on about it. And I was like, yeah, you know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And then, he, then he went on again. And I was like, look, well, you know, it was a pretty bad night for me. That's it. Let's go right now. Yeah. <laughs> you need to get in the country, dude. Like, what the fuck? Okay, I'm sorry. I was yelling, you know. Do you uh, remember it? Like, I, I mean, I, is that uh, a weird question? Do you remember? Yeah, right. Like, I mean, I've, I've seen like don't. there's a chance you might have just woken up in the hospital. Like, I, sure. I could easily see that happening to me. I remember bits and pieces. I also remember being in the hospital and when they said, um, you need a CT, they said, you need a CT scan. Yeah. And I was like, I don't need no fucking CT scan. <laughs> And <laughs> yelling. I, I, yeah. I never remember. I don't remember getting one at all. But oh, they did. No. Me, they gave me some fucking like painkiller that just completely knocked me out. And I did get yeah. a CT scan because my fiance <laughs> said on the report after she's like, no, they did give you one. Uh, so, I would have loved to see that. Wait, was she I'm there? <laughs> no, no, she, saw, she just saw the thing after. So the, how long were you in Portugal before this happened? And then how long did you have to oh, stay? Was it a full day? Were you in there for a full day before this oh, happened? Yeah, we had been there. So when did it happened on to early Wednesday morning? So I, I got there Sunday morning. So I'd been there, you know, like three days, I guess. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, almost oh, Wednesday. God. And just going on the boat ride. That was the other thing we had this, and I did end up doing the boat ride, which is beautiful. Lisbon itself is great. I would still like, you know, don't let it scare you away from going there. I mean, it could easily happen in, in Richmond for fuck's sake. Sure. Uh, honestly, where I live, right? Um, <laughs> but. That yeah, kind of stuff still, doesn't happen in LA. Could happen in a trans bathroom. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah but uh, it, you know, we were going to go on the boat ride. And we had all this stuff planned. I was also going to fly to Madrid because once you get over there, it's only like eighty dollars to you know to fly yeah. to Madrid. Sergio yeah. was. Still of course, right. you know, after I got out of the hospital, we still talked about doing it, but I was so beat up. Shout out to, shout out to him, by the way, who helped me after I got hurt and everything before he went back. But could you feel so it in your eye? Yeah. Like, can you, could you feel the, where it was bust, where it was broken? 
Oh yeah, I can still feel it. They break your bit. orbital bone. Yeah, like the, they broke yeah. my orbital bone. And yeah. then when they did the surgery at first, <laughs> I was like, "Do I have to do the surgery here?" And they said, "Well, if you don't do it in the next ten or fifteen days, your face is going to be permanently fucked up." <laughs> and so- <laughs> I was wondering that too. Like, mm-hmm. uh, I don't know about doing a surgery in Portugal. Like, it seems too much like Mexico to me. <laughs> when they rolled me back there, well, I said, "Okay, I'll go ahead and do it." Obviously, but when they rolled me back there, the fucking hospital is three hundred years old or some shit. <laughs> And replace the one that was, you know, destroyed in a great earthquake in like sure. 1755. And they oh roll you back God. and it looks like you're in, you know, Arkham Asylum or some shit. With these <laughs> giant arches, you know what I mean? I'm like, where the fuck are they taking me? Uh, and they cut a little slit right underneath the, the very beginning of your eyelid. And they go in and like clean it up and yeah. set it the right way. And Wait, uh, where, where? Like under your bottom eyelid? They cut in there and go yeah, in? Right. You know, right where your eyelid oh, starts, they wow. cut a little split right there. Right and in the they corner, go in the, I think. Right. And the second day, and then, of course, they, you know, they put these things, these like, plastic things up my nose too as well because it broke the side of my nose wow. so I had to have those stuck up my nose for two days and then the next day when I woke up I thought I was like okay everything's going great and then my eye was like stuck shut with blood oh you uh, looked like shit dude I, I looked like hell dude oh man it was rough and then of course I didn't even show a picture of that that was like concerning you know <laughs> you wake up with the blood pouring out of your eye but it, eventually it got it got good yeah and, uh, so. Uh, wow. Sergio texted me that night saying Ralph's in the hospital and I was like, oh, fuck you. Like, as I was just going to bed, I was like, ha fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, somebody had messaged you. Because <laughs> it wasn't worth it for me that to, like, be concerned <laughs> if he was tricking me, right? Like, I was like, well, I'm 50-50 on this, but I don't want to be embarrassed. <laughs> yeah. So, fuck Ralph and fuck you. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> so, have you... I had you messaged you and you said you like before I put the story out, I forget what you told them, but it wasn't what happened. <laughs> it was something else because I didn't know if I was going to tell everybody, but I was like, I have to go on air anyway. Uh, it's like I might as well just tell you know you're going to come back with your face all beat up. So you uh, you've so, told uh, the story because I, I don't know the. I mean, I assume you got oh, you got I, beat up by a bunch of guys. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, so I was, I was there, and they, somebody took my back. They did take my purse, basically. My, my uh, Armani. I mean, the motherfucker. I don't know. Some French girl talked me into buying a non her daughter bag when I was in Vegas last year. Whatever. They can talk uh, so you into stuff. Was, you yeah. got off lucky. Whatever. It was not. Yes, yeah, say women have talked me into way worse, Dick. I mean, let's <laughs> just look that. Uh, so anyway, I, they, they snatched my bag and I went around the corner. Um, and you know, I said, I chased after him. Obviously I didn't, my fat ass didn't catch anybody. We know that. Uh, <laughs> but I ran around the corner, uh, and like ran in, I don't know if it was their homies. I think it was. Yeah. Um, but, um, then I kind of got into a back and forth with them and I wasn't expecting a blow. It just caught a blow upside my head and they hit me. I don't know if they hit me with something or what, or just caught me the right way, but blood started pouring down my, my left eye. And they like knocked me down and they got a couple blows in. And then I got back up and started trying to fight them. And I like took a kind of, I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't call it a cheap shot since they had hit me with a cheap shot. Uh, but then after that, um, I was getting jumped by like two or three people. Uh, and they, I took like a couple at first, you know, I wasn't fully covering up. I was trying to get back up and fight, but they kicked me in the face hard as fuck. Oh. Like twice. And then I was like, okay, I'm taking to you. Now I can, I can see the health meter going down at that point. I was like, okay. So I put my arms like, you know, yeah. the side. so and you remember just, you remember the beatdown. Yeah, I remember that part. Wow. Yeah, because I had to go up, and then they kept kicking my elbows, and my elbows are still bruised actually. Because thank God they were there though. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> it would have been worse. But yeah, I remember that part. Uh, and then I don't remember going to the hospital. I don't remember. I remember waking up in the hospital, but. Yeah, I don't remember. You don't remember all the altercations with the doctor. Uh, oh, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, know, you, don't need, you don't need a CT scan. Don't you know what? Fine. They, they're not allowed to do any harm. So you can say whatever you want to doctors. That's my policy. Like, as soon as you go into yeah. the hospital, like, fuck you, fuck you. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. Like, they can't do anything. <laughs> they're required by law not to harm you. That's so whatever. Do no harm. Yeah. That's not the first time I've talked shit. The yes. <laughs> For sure. Um, uh, yeah. Still say Lisbon itself though really cool. I'm planning to go back. So many great sites. I'm gonna write about the whole ordeal on the Ralphertour.com. It's just not out yet because I stream. I'm streaming so much, so I just haven't got. Okay, so you've got the bowling thing coming up too. That's right. Uh, can you plug That's that? Right. 
Yes, April 2nd, uh, live in Dallas, Texas, actually. We have the whole bowling alley. Met this guy in Vegas, a friend of a friend, uh, and he happens to own a bowling alley. And we're going to have an entire night there. Private event, tickets, killstream.live slash bowl. That's B-O-W-L. And we got quite the roster, actually, there. Uh, Dick, it's starting to stack up. I'm gonna read. Uh, I'm gonna read it off here. Uh, so myself, of course, I'll be there. I'm also gonna be getting married as part of this event. So, uh, where will fiance- people be jumping you? Like mm. Out of nowhere? At the, is that the new tradition? Like the Gatorade on the coach? <laughs> the jump in. Yeah. <laughs> So we're going to do my marriage there and we'll have another set. I saw people razzing like, oh my God, I can't believe Ralph's getting married in a bowling alley. Oh, no, I'm it's like perfect. The- it's honestly, yeah, it's so great. funny. It's, it's great. Like- we're yeah. selling tickets. It's going to be fun. So it's going to be me and her getting married. Destiny's going to debate Harrison Smith from InfoWars uh, on globalism versus nationalism. Uh, yeah. Pat Dixon, who has a show on Compound Media, also a stand-up comedian, he's going to do a full stand-up set. Alex Stein's going to do um, like an intro, you know, the opener set for him. Uh, Ramsey Paul's coming now. Uh, Patrick Howley, I'm looking through. Oh, ROTC, right at the top of the list. Oh, yeah. Uh, Mar- yeah. Uh, going to be there as well. So, Oh, and Corinne, actually. <laughs> has been begging with him. So, I said, I'm going to let her come. I said, can you buy a ticket? Uh, buy a ticket, plane ticket. I'll let her in, I guess. Uh, uh, I love that uh, guy, Patrick Howley. He's out of control. Yeah, dude, <laughs> dude, he's wild. I'm saying, man. He is wow. wild. He's, a, he's the best, one of the best follows on Twitter. Let's just put it that way. Uh, he um, also had, dude. like, he changed his profile picture recently from when he was, like, 20 to what looks like he's about uh, 50 now. I, is that just me, or did, did anyone else notice that? Oh. Well, I mean, he's just more veteran-like. I don't yeah, know. It's I fun. It was funny. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's I can't believe you put that many people together. Yeah, and we're st- we still might add one or two. I talked to Ryan Long, so we're still going to check in on that. He's trying to rearrange some stuff where he can come. So maybe uh, there's a couple more late additions, uh, late additions. But I think we kind of got it mostly set. Dick himself, of course, going to be there. Yeah, uh, that's going to be great. Yeah. Um, oh, and- Oh, I need to talk about the alley. Like I said, it's ours for the evening. There's no bullshit. There's not going to be anybody else. Uh, there, so it's a private thing. They have a bar. They actually have karaoke. They're wired for sound, uh, and I'm gonna go there a couple days early. And actually, the day before, on April Fool's Day, I'm gonna go on Elijah Schaefer's uh, "You Are Here" show there in Dallas at the Blaze Studios. I guess is where it's at. What a pro, so. pro at promoting. Yeah, so, oh, I can't do this. He's a busy guy, and he ripped him right off. <laughs> uh, <laughs> clearly, no head trauma. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> I got. Yeah, I, mean, I know right. exactly that feeling you're talking about, where you know you got hit by something that wasn't yeah. a fist, and it's like you're confused and like like confused. An right. Yeah, like, what the fuck was what that? That's just what happened, happened to me at the mm-hmm. Dave Chappelle protest. It's like, mm-hmm. wait a minute, that that was not someone's yeah. fist or whatever. Well, and it's right above my eye, and it's like a straight line. I don't know what the fuck they hit me with, honestly. Um, but it just immediately started bleeding. And you know, when you start bleeding like that, you're like, oh shit, already yeah. off. Up and so I don't know. I definitely got my ass kicked though. <laughs> There's no way around that. Uh, but. <laughs> what are you gonna, you know, what are you, what are you gonna do? Fight off like three, four, five guys? I mean, you know, yeah, I mean, it doesn't have in the real world that fucking. <laughs> well, I should have stayed down after the first. You should have uh, I mean, swept yeah. the leg, man. All you, you gotta practice your leg sweeps. All these leg people are like about <laughs> boxing and guarding, but it's really you just gotta master the leg sweep. Um. Oh yeah, I gotta ask. I got to ask you about your Medicare beef at some point here. Yeah, I don't we know. Have, we had a little get together. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, okay. I'll start. I'll start with this. I'm glad that you told Mr. Medicare you don't want him to die of cancer. That was, I was happy about that. Mm. Uh, right. I, I did see. That's what I got that idea. Uh, I, I believe yeah. you. He didn't believe you, but I believe that you don't want him he to die. He didn't believe cancer. me. I was kind of surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I was really convincing when I said it. I don't know. I don't know if that's uh, going to help with his cancer, but <laughs> or whatever he's got. Uh, but I was glad you said it at least. Um, do you have any? I don't really. I don't know what to. I don't know what to weigh in because I, I didn't see the whole thing. Right. I saw. I saw a little bit with you on it, uh, and then I I kind of skipped around um, and saw like twelve guys shouting over each other about it. So I was like, all right, I, maybe I'll come back to this. Um, but do you have any, do you have any regret? I have one, I'm predicting one regret from the night, but do you have any regrets from that conversation with Mr. Medicare? 
Well, the one regret is the very end. I should have just hung up the phone. Uh, but, but, uh, because I just gave and I was really drunk by the end of the program. Uh, yeah, but, I mean, that's why, honestly, um, I have I have fucked up so many things with liquor uh, as, and being online and being too drunk. Sure. Because liquor makes, it makes you funnier. It really does, but it can also take everything away from you at some point. I, I, my my view is a lot of the points that I was bringing up actually are pretty valid. Um, you know, I probably you know looking back, was it wise to take it there? Maybe not. Uh, probably was not the smartest thing. Said some things, you know, you might regret. Uh, but you know what? Then again, I feel like I'm held to two different standards. Uh, you know, they get to do, and I'm not talking about Jim. I just mean my critics or whatever are able to do and say and come to my house and do all this fucked up shit. Try and they, you know, they talk about life ruination tactics. They've been trying to ruin my life for years, literally. Uh, and so, you know, I hear that buzzword and I hear these terms, and it just it rings pretty hollow to me. There's some things I said, especially about Jade. You know, I don't even. I'm just talking shit. Uh, you know that, dude. Yeah, I uh, know. I mean, well, you know, my policy is always yeah. I'm talking about everyone's women makes me uncomfortable. Yeah, it's yeah. fucked up. I it's mean, I, I admit that, right? Like, I know that. Uh, but, you know, my thing's always been if somebody's, you know, striking out at me online. Because that's my property. It's like <laughs> telling me that my car sucks. Like, what do you. I picked that car. I, I paid nothing for sacred. it. You, yeah, come on. Yeah. I don't know. My policy's always been, you know. You're saying uh, I could do better? Like that's possible. because you should have told me that before I married. Like, you know? It's very <laughs> Where were you then, asshole? Where were you then, asshole? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I, I've always just kind of went hard like that. Um, and so I, I wouldn't have done it again, especially uh, that part of it. But yeah. uh, I still think a lot of what I said is pretty valid, honestly. So yeah. I don't know. I'm kind of up two minds about it. Check the RalphRetort.com whenever I get this piece published. I've been writing about it. I don't have a lot of time to write, so I've been having to stall it. But uh, yeah, I don't know. There's some things I regret. I probably shouldn't have got on there drunk as fuck. My fiance <laughs> not do that, actually. Uh, so I disregarded that uh, advice. So that's yeah, that's, thing. When I heard it, I was like, uh oh, I hear like I hear that yeah. amount of drunk. Uh, mm. I can't. It's too, it's too close to home. I can't. Really. <laughs> I don't. I don't enjoy it as much as other people do. Who maybe yeah. don't like aren't alcoholics. I'm like ah, that's not. That makes a lot of not, sense. I'm, I'm out. out. I'm out. Yeah. I and then people are like, well, what are you gonna? It's like you got to What are you gonna say about it? I'm like, well, I mean, I don't know. That's like ah, I'm not really gonna. Um, I'm not. I'm gonna, not gonna say something that Ralph doesn't already think. What the fuck do you want me to? Put my shit I mean, in there, obviously, it was, you know, would I redo it again? No. <laughs> oh, um, here's what I was going to say. Here was the one regret. Yeah. Why yeah. did you do it on Matt's stream? Of all the, I remember it happening on Twitter, and I was just in the middle of tweeting. Oh. I was just in the middle of tweeting, hey, you guys should call into my show and have this out. And I'll, uh, because the last time Ralph had a beef with Null, because it, it worked out so well when I tried to that patch that up. Yeah. So you guys should call into my show, but then I got distracted by this girl with huge tits at my house, and I didn't post it. And I woke <laughs> up, and I was like, oh, fuck, all this well, happened. I wanted it to happen on the kill stream, but you know, he wouldn't come on the kill stream. So, and I was drunk and just, if it didn't happen, then it might not happen. So I was like, whatever, let's just do it and get it over with. Um, and you know, people after the show were saying Ralph's done this and that, you know, uh, I had, you know, a ton of big streams. We'll have a uh, Lord miles Rutledge on the show tomorrow. Some new guests, et cetera. Um, yeah. you know, things are going fine. Uh, r rumors of my demise have been greatly exaggerated. Mm. Let's, say that and uh i don't know you know do i always make the perfect move no uh but i think i'm pretty out there and open with uh you know uh mistakes and uh just i'm a i'm a real motherfucker i feel like so i don't know you, you just have to take it or leave it <laughs> with uh, with how i do and i think i'm putting on entertaining shows and uh i, I think that's what people really care about it really is <laughs> um i mean i'll i'll watch anything bill cosby <laughs> Knowing he's guilty, <laughs> like I don't care. The Allen, the classic, never go out <laughs> yeah, of style. Magic Point was great. Um, mm -hmm. Whatever, I don't know. Sean, do you have any? Do you have any questions about the the drama surrounding Ralph and his? Um, well, altercations. Uh, you would you'd probably have to start from the beginning. So no, I, ca I can't. That's part. Of, yeah, that's, that's part a, of it yeah. too. Like I have kind of ideas, but I'm like I don't know the whole backstory here of what these guys are. Uh, yeah, I don't either. Into. I don't want to take up uh, everybody's time having <laughs> having it spoon fed well, to me. You, know what? you guys joke about it, but that is a, like I had so many people message me. They don't know what's going on because most people, you know, I do a ton of shows. We all do a ton of shows. They don't watch every single show. Yeah, believe it or not. Yeah. They don't have 
time. It's impossible. And so they pop in here, they pop in there. Maybe they watch a whole show here, a whole show there. But there was a lot of people like, I don't know what's going on. Like they're frustrated because they had lost the plot. You know what I mean? Like they're like, yeah. where's the stuff? Uh, so I got a lot of that. Part of me is also like, like I have uh, opinions on both, but it's like you can't even weigh in without upsetting somebody. And the, like the one, the one refrain that everybody in this sphere goes back to is, "Well, you just have to have thicker skin." And I'm like, all of you motherfuckers, including me, have the thinnest skin on the fucking planet. That's why we're all doing this. Like that's why we're screaming into microphones for attention because yeah. like, um, so it's it's hard to even weigh in at that point. Well, the people saying that are always the ones not being attacked at the time too. Yeah. <laughs> Funny, so right? Yeah, oh, he, oh. right. <laughs> this is fucking different. Uh, I did think uh, Mr. Medicare said to you that he w he was going easy on you. I I did um, I did agree with that. I did. Agree. I think that uh, one thing, and I'm going to write about this. Um, there were certain parts. Of course, I was drunk as a skunk, uh, but there were certain parts where um, it did seem like he was a little concerned for my trajectory. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like some genuine genuineness there and that's kind of why of course like i said i don't you know I'm strong don't remember every single moment uh but that's why i kind of um modified the way i was approaching the conversation uh you know at a certain point because like well it seems like this guy you know might be sincere <laughs> with some of the stuff he's saying uh you know some of the you can just hear it in his voice i don't know i was just uh, gonna say that yeah yeah and so that's how i took it and <sighs> You know, I try to take it on board. That doesn't mean I throw out everything I said. That's what a lot of people would, you know what I mean? Like some of the points I've raised in, in my defense, et cetera. That's, you know, uh, I'm not going to. Like do what that. points? What kind of points are you talking about? Well, the life ruination thing, for one. Mm. The things they said. And I don't want to get, because, you know, I don't, I don't know if I want to get into the minutia, but I had a falling out with Gator. Uh, and, mm. you know, uh, the way it's been portrayed is not how it went down. Uh, and so, um, I've talked about it on my show. I mean, I could go piece by piece, but, uh, basically there's an army of people who hate me, uh, so much <laughs> that they're willing to believe almost anything. Like this guy got fired, uh, the other day. Uh, and I made fun of him because his whole channel is based around fucking with me, making fun of me basically. Yeah. And I started to see he got fired and I was like, LOL, you got fired, bitch. Uh, and then he tried to say with a ridiculous story, by the way, that he had overheard a voicemail <laughs> on his superior's phone <laughs> and it sounded like me. And he thinks that's why he got fired. And yeah. then by the way, he was so drunk during this video. He actually tells the real reason he got fired was because he worked for CPS, falsified some records and all this shit. I was like, I think that's it. That's but anyway, <laughs> see the liquor uh, helps you sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Gets other guys. <laughs> It was so ridiculous. And then come to find out he had said the exact same story two days before about somebody else uh, and filled in their name as the voice he overheard. Sure. Yeah, sure. I, I really, I can't deal with all the lying. I can't deal with all the lying and, 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 and implying that goes on. Well, people had already ran with this dude. And so there's a, there's a segment of people who think that's true even now. Cause they didn't see the follow up, Right. Yeah. And they think I got that fucking idiot fired. Right. And there's of a course. ton of examples like that, but of course, um, I don't know. I just feel like it's two different uh, fields. Basically the one I'm playing on the one they're allowed to play on. You, you know what I mean? That guy came yeah. to my house and dumped shit in front of my door. Or, like yeah. if I had, you what know kind what? of if shit? Beat his brains out with a ball bat, you know, over the line. You know what I mean? This guy, yeah. fuck this guy. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know what what life do do these people live. Booby traps, I, booby traps solve so many problems. Mm. So many modern problems are mm. solved with booby traps. That's yeah. why they took it from us. <laughs> right, right. That's why that you think the government is concerned about oh. people getting accidentally booby trapped. If the government was concerned about people accidentally setting off booby traps, guns would be illegal. Yeah. Sure. Okay. I just do a moat around my, my house. I don't know. You have to get a dog, and you have to like cross your fingers that that booby trap, like that's like the secret booby trap one. that you're allowed to have. have. Yeah, I got I a dog. dog. He's like Fifteen. He's kind of just chill, but he'll bark if somebody comes up. He'll de he'll definitely bark. We need an open source um, Amazon dog. Like what are what are those robot dogs <laughs> that run around? We need we need the Boston, uh, the Boston Dynamics. Yeah. We need yeah. one on our side. Big time. Yeah. Like we need some fucking super hackers wearing long socks and kitten ears to code us up a, a good guy version of that ASAP. There was an Onion article about the Boston Dynamics dog being in the puppy bowl. It's fucking funny. <laughs> Killing just a, all yeah, them. just a bunch of carcasses. I like remember. it's just bloody dog carcasses. <laughs> Sony had one of those when I was a kid. Of course it sucked, but it looked cool as fuck. The Ibo. Oh no, yeah. was that the Ibo? Yeah, that thing was fucking horrible. Yeah. Yeah, it sucked ass, but it looked it looked cool as fuck though. Yeah. Um, let's well, good talking to you. 
Thank you, man. It'll be good to see you in Dallas, April 2nd, killstream.live slash bowl. Get your tickets now. Yeah. Have a good one, Ralph. <laughs> Thank you, man. See you, Ralph. Have a, see you. Oh, good to talk to you too, Sean. All right, later. <clears throat>